what is going on everybody it is friday i know i already had a video it should be posted already by now but this is something big i mean well i guess you could say yeah it is big in a way some of y'all might have already heard about it within the last 24 hours but like i said new year new things with me so we're gonna go ahead and call the old scammer alert out scammer alert uh-oh Somebody did a no no. All right, before we get to that, yes, that Baker Mayfield just came in today, so I'm just have it up for a picture. It'll go up on my slabs a little bit later. Good luck this weekend, Mr. Mayfield. All right, so real quick, I'm going to go and just play a video here. Uh, so this is going to be all spliced together with the best I could do. Um, I want you guys to watch this video, and then I want you to, if you have to, watch it two, three, four, five times. What I want you to do is look, tell me what you think is all wrong with it, because we're going to go in thorough through the whole thing. Um, you know, watch what the guy does. I've been preaching all this stuff, and if you see guys doing this stuff, just stop breaking with them. Or bust them out. It's the best thing to do. Best thing to do. All right, guys, without further ado, I am going to cut this video. We're going to go ahead and splice into the actual part I want you guys to watch. Be back after that video is done. Dan, nice hit, Dan. Sleeves are a bitch. There we go. Third card out. Otto Kenyon Drake going to the Cardinals, which are Dan. I think just a lower uh, a lower count, Dion. I think that's all it means. So, sorry guys, I got someone at my door here. Hang on. Okay, they went away. I think it's uh, that green is just a uh, a lower count because that, that card's only out of forty nine. Dion, yeah. just letting you know. That's a nice hit. That was going to who? Uh, who had the cards? Dan. Nice hit, Dan. That needs a fifty five point as well, so I'll grab that here in a minute. And the final card. Going to the Tennessee Titans. Darrington Evans, playbook. All right, we're back. We are back. So you guys seen it. Now, I don't know how many times you watched it. I probably watched it four or five times. So let's start off the bat. First, this dude has no idea what size top loader to use for cards. He's jamming stuff in with thick sleeves into a regular top loader. That's just, that's not even a scammer thing there. That's just called inexperience and being a flat-out idiot. Being ignorant to this hobby for guys that have been doing this stuff five, ten years. So again, I think this dude was on Instagram, if I recall right, from what the back brief was. I could be wrong. It's just one of them fly-by-night people who think that they're going to come on here, become a breaker, and just, it's easy. That's what they think. It's easy. So as you guys know, he's breaking playbook. Um, like I said, first off the bat, if you watch, you can't even figure out what top loader stuff goes into. All right, now let's hit the key things. He does not have any of his product in front of him. I've been preaching this forever. If you see people out there doing it, stop breaking with them. Let them know. Bust them out in their chat. Say, why is the product not on the screen? Why, 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 why? Because I'm going to tell you what, 
they're going to end up going on to the scamming websites and everything else. And I'm going to tell you what, some dudes are ruthless, man. They will come after you, your family, your job, everything else to show that you are unethical. Unethical in what you do. So you see him, he's going through his break and everything, and all of a sudden, you can tell before he gets that auto, he sees what that next card is. It has to be something pretty decent. Maybe it's a Burrow Redemption. It took him a minute to read it. Maybe it's a Herbert. Maybe it's one of them, you know, one of one shields. You never, we will never know. Never ever know. And you really don't get to see the whole break because that's all. Everything else has been cut down. I take it back. This is a Facebook group. A Facebook group. It was not Instagram. A Facebook group. You are breaking from your cell phone, man. Come on. Spend twenty, thirty, fifty, a hundred dollars. Get yourself a real camera. When you start breaking your cell phone, you shrink the screen down, and people cannot see the whole thing. Come on, man. That, that, that you know that's that's been my new saying this year. Cause that's stuck in my head. That you all know why too. So there we go. That's first. Second, he comes up to lane eight. Oh man, guys, hold on. Somebody's at my door. There was nobody even knocking at the dang door. If you look behind him, I believe that's his front door or back door or something. He, you can hear him cut open the other box. If you want to, go back right now. Play it with the speakers on super loud. You can hear him cutting that box, opening a pack up, and sifting through to grab another card out to replace that. That is a shame, shame, shame. It's ignorant. I, honestly, I'm trying to hold a lot back because I just want to cuss, and I don't want to do that in this video because... If we get censored and outlawed, people are not going to get to see this to know what I'm talking about. Um, it's just wrong. I, there's so many things wrong with this picture. He stays in his chair this whole time. Look at the, uh, the shadow in the background. He acts as if he comes back into his chair and makes a large stump. He never got up. Oh, yeah, they just went away. You had somebody at your door and they just went away? I mean, that was pretty quick. I mean, if you go back and look at it, it's really, really quick. If you guys ever had me in the middle of the video, I'm like, dude, UPS is here. I bet you guys wait 90 seconds to 2 minutes till I come back, not 10, 15 seconds. Or 20, whatever it took him to cut it. But this is to bring alert to you guys. Go with people that are reputable, that have been around this business for a very long time and been breaking for a long time. Yes, their stuff may be a little bit higher in price. Not all the time. But you're going to get better service. You don't have to worry about stuff like this. I mean, granted, I have a top camera. And that's just because of my own stupid fault. I used to always hit the regular camera, and I felt bad. I wouldn't ever say I was a scammer. But, you know, this is just the kind of stuff I'm talking about. And if you, I know I get emails from people out there probably two, three times a week about this. Bust those dudes out, man. Bust them out. That's what they need to have. If they're not listening and knowing what's right, bust them out. Have them stop doing what they're doing out there. I mean, when you see stuff that's wrong and unethical, if, it, if it's hitting you in the back of the head, it's wrong, then it probably is. If you're unsure, find somebody who's been doing this for a while, just ask them. Hey, man, can you tell me if this is right? And then give them an example, show them a video, whatever it may be. And then that person there, you know, go back, bust them out. You're wrong for doing it this way. Because I can tell you now, I've skimmed through people doing their retail breaks and everything else. I mean, breaking whatever out there and stuff like that. And they don't do it right. They are just opening up stuff off camera. It's shady. And this is another thing. Just like, I'm going to find the Brandon Cooks to 99 video too. And we're going to do one on it too. Just so I can show you what really started a lot of this back in the day when you hear me say Cooks to 99. Everybody's like, huh? Because you haven't been around the business long enough to to even get into that part of like the little joke. It's really not a joke. That was I'm pretty sure they found out it was a Tom Brady uh uh um, was it SP authentic rookie auto that the dude scammed out of. So no idea what this is. You can't even really guess because you never get to see the product at all. He opened it all totally all off camera too. That box should be flat out in front right here. Open flip. Pull the packs out, set them down, make sure you're what you're watching. You look at your own camera and stuff out there. Make sure it's in view. Oh, hey, sorry, you guys. Let me slide these over a little bit more. You know, stuff like that there. Make the customers out there should be felt at ease that they shouldn't have to worry about stuff like this. Well, 
that's it for me, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I mean, honestly, I'm always game to have some good chat about this stuff. Um, be aware this weekend, stuff like this all the time. I, I just had to bring this to everybody's attention. There's a good group here. Uh, most of the other guys I know from Facebook have probably already seen this thing and probably made all kind of comments onto it by now. So, but this is for the YouTube community out there for a lot of new people just getting back in a hobby or just starting in the hobby. Look for those red flags out there. Look for those red flags. Stay away. Just don't hurry up and jump in because your best buddy said this is the greatest place in the world. Watch a break or three or four. Determine yourself, do you want to break with this person or not? Because then you start, start looking at how is he handling your cards. This dude couldn't handle them worth anything. And then you got to look at how they're going to ship those, man. But all right, you guys take care. Have a good day. I'm out. See you guys around this weekend.